गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वेल एवरी वन लव्स टू ट्रेवल इन दिस अपकमिंग सीरीज लेट्स मीट दोज हु मेक दिस जर्नी स्मूथ एंड मेमोरेबल फॉर आस वी हैव कम अप विद अ न्यू एंड एक्साइटिंग सीरीज विद आर ट्रेवल एंड टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स आई वेलकम एवरी वन टू द वेरी फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ आर सीरीज द वंडरफुल लाइफ ऑफ आर ट्रेवल एक्सपर्ट टूडे we have one of our travel and tourism trainer mr lalit with us i hope you all are really keen to know about his journey let me add him to the show meanwhile let me tell you something about his journey he has worked with mnc's and big travel companies He has been associated with travel companies like SOTC, FCM Travels, and Jaya Travels and Tour. Also, he has worked with MNCs like Cap Gemini and Interglobe Enterprises Limited before joining Frank Fen. Recently, we have also posted a reel about his journey on our page. If you guys haven't checked it out, please check it out after our live session. Hi Lalit okay he's here so hi Lalit welcome to the show Hi thank you thank you very much thank you How are you doing I'm doing fine how are you thank you I'm thank you for asking Good <laughs> Are you excited for the show Absolutely absolutely looking forward Okay so let's begin with our first question So yes. Lalit I was just now telling our viewers about your journey actually i'm really interested to know over here like what motivated you to join the travel industry was it your childhood dream or uh, somebody inspired you uh actually i will say it's more sort of a childhood dream okay uh, from my uh, like when i was a kid i always used to travel on holidays go on vacations and um, that was one of the main factor which which motivated me uh, you know to have this as a career but because at that time we never had so many uh, opportunities the internet was just coming we never had laptops also so we used to work on the desktops so little whatever little bit information we used to collect uh, i remember going to uh, you know going to see the travel magazines uh, you know going to the stores looking at the travel magazines that uh, that was like an inspiration to join uh, this fascinating industry right okay that's actually very interesting So uh, you yes. have joined this industry after your graduation, right? Right. I have uh, actually have done uh, after my uh, graduation. I have done my uh, graduation in commerce. So after my BCom, I have done my course uh, with uh, Mumbai University affiliated institute. It's a Darwar Institute. So where I've done my postgraduate uh, diploma in travel and tourism. So uh, you know I've done my uh, specialization in tourism from there. Okay, so after completing your specialization, where was your first job, and what was it like? Uh, actually, when I was doing my uh, course with uh, Garware, uh, you know, we had a one and a half year course, and in that course, uh, we had uh, three months on the job training. Uh, so I got an opportunity to work with uh, SOTC, uh, you know, the brand wow. name. Uh, the actual place is Kioni Travels. Okay. So I had worked with them for three months, and uh, when I completed my course, uh, they asked me to join. So SOTC was my first shop, wow. and I worked there as a reservation. Actually, uh, very you know special. <laughs> Hello, Lalit, can yes. you hear me? So I have worked uh, with SOTC. Uh, uh can you please repeat your last part i think there was some network disturbance yeah. yes yes i'm so sorry uh so when i was working with uh, sotc i got an opportunity to work with uh, uh you know uh, work on amadeus uh, reservation system i was working there as a reservation and ticketing officer okay. so my job role was mainly to handle the reservation airline reservations and issue the tickets so i got an opportunity to work on amadeus which is uh, one of the leading softwares for doing the airline bookings so it was very nice to learn something new at, in the first job itself 
Yeah, even Frank Finn teaches this software in the travel industry module. Yes, absolutely. In in Frank Finn, uh, we have a course. Uh, you know, we have a module for Amadeus because this is used by many airlines. So that is one of the leading uh, softwares what we have. Okay. Right. So after working in travel uh, companies, you have switched to an MNC. How did this right. switch happen? And what was your role there? Was it similar one? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, actually, what happened after uh, I worked with Asurisi for around one one and a half year, and then I got a chance to work with Interglobe, uh, Interglobe Enterprises Limited, uh, which is also happens to be a parent company of Indigo, and uh, I was working there. Uh, as a reservation officer and interglobe is the gsa for uh, many airlines so i worked there as a reservation officer in a uh, couple of airlines china eastern and uh, united and uh, when i was working there in reservations i did a lot of corporate groups so you know that was like a uh, kind of inspiration for me to join uh, move on to a corporate role so i joined uh, capgemini i got a opportunity to work with capgemini so i worked there as a travel coordinator and basically i was on a capgemini payroll so my main job role was uh, you know to coordinate with uh, the capgemini uh, employees who were traveling being a it company there used to be a constant movement of uh, you know of travelers and uh, there were travel agents who were uh, doing the travel bookings for the capgemini employees so my role was to coordinate and ensure you know the smooth booking happens and uh, i must say that that was one of my uh, you know uh, one of my turning points because i got uh, to interact with uh, senior uh, members of capgemini so i used to interact with directors and uh, vice president level employees on a regular basis so it it helped me in polishing my skills further i think that's a very good career jump and capgemini is a very reputed it company absolutely yes, so they uh, are uh, they are one of the leading uh, companies so uh, since you have worked with mncs as well as the travel companies how was your experience right. different at both workplaces uh see what happens with travel agencies it's more sort of uh, you are always in touch with the customers uh, you know either on calls or through emails a lot of responsibilities there you are dealing with them you're dealing simultaneously with suppliers uh with have uh, with uh, mnc's it is more sort of a coordination role uh, you know you are not the one who making the bookings okay. so you are on a different role a different profile altogether uh but then the travel agencies is more fun because ultimately the course what you have done you know where you have worked with uh, you know where, what you have learned the knowledge uh, the experience uh, you know you it test uh, if you are when you are working in a travel agencies okay so if i have to you know ask you to choose any one so where did you enjoy the most which one will you choose oh uh, uh, it's really a difficult question i must say but then if i have to pick one uh, and i think it will be the travel agencies because as i said you know with travel agencies you need to put in a lot of efforts and you're you know I mean, always in touch with the passengers no doubt uh, corporate also it's a different profile but then uh, the knowledge wise the experience wise what you gain you gain more uh, definitely in travel agencies as compared to them yeah actually experience teaches you a lot you know no matter how many degrees uh, you have few things are actually learned on the field absolutely right absolutely right because what happens ultimately when we uh, you know when we learn uh, it's more sort of a theoretical part and when you work it's uh, how you apply that knowledge so it is very important so uh, if i have to ask you according to you know what are the other career opportunities in this industry like since you have worked in various roles uh, you have worked with mnc yeah. as well you have worked with travel companies and now you are working in franken as a trainer so yeah. what are other career opportunities in this field um i always look at a uh, travel industry something of uh, it gives lot of uh, employment opportunities because what happens there is a travel agent present in almost all the cities not only of india but around the world uh, you need uh, some agent to help you out with your travel bookings and uh, now uh, we had a lockdown couple of years back uh, first thing what everyone wanted once the lockdown would uh, relax a bit was to travel so right. uh, you know uh, the opportunities is you get a chance to work in a travel agency so you will work as a reservation or ticketing uh, executive 
or uh, you can also make the holidays the holiday plans because ultimately there needs to be a planning done when you going on a holidays with your family you don't want to go like for example if you go going to shimla uh, you are sitting uh, you arrived in shimla and you are sitting and deciding what to do next so it it, it can't happen that way when especially when you are with uh, with family yeah. Right. So it needs to be planned in advance. So uh, one of the job uh, opportunities what we have in travel agencies is planning the holidays and doing the reservation. So those are the uh, exciting opportunities. And apart from that, when you learn uh, the reservation systems, like I spoke about Amadeus some time back, uh, you also right. get a chance to work with airlines. The airlines also has a reservation and ticketing uh, department, so you get a chance to work in airlines as well. i hope our students are keeping a note of it and the future aspirants as well yes yes i'm sure they are so lalit you have shared your experience of working in an mnc and working in a travel company so if i talk about frank fen so now you're working as a trainer how is your experience right. different from both oh it's a kind of exciting journey i have completed uh, two years with frank fen just in uh, july so i must say i'm really enjoying it uh, the best part is what i always feel is uh, you know the job satisfaction when you see uh, young uh, enthusiast uh, students in front of you it always uh, challenges you and for me it was more uh, fascinating journey i'm really enjoying uh, what i'm doing i'm teaching i'm it's more it's not actually a teaching kind of a thing it's more sort of a mentoring because uh, the students are always uh, you know with uh, the abundance of information now available with is the access to internet they always well informed so uh, you know to be honest as a trainer we have to be on your toes you know we need to be updated what is happening around because you don't know what kind of questions are going to come and personally i enjoy that uh, you know that's the best part so that uh, we are upgrading our knowledge and with our knowledge with our experience what i have uh, what we have over the you know over the years what we work we are sharing our knowledge it's more sort of that and i really want to say that i'm thankful to uh, the franklin management actually because uh, this is like my first uh, teaching job uh, prior to franklin when i was working with fcm uh, i was a manager there of one of the departments so we used to have the internal trainings um, i never uh, taught anyone like uh, full of class i still remember my first day i was a bit of nervous uh, standing there facing the students but uh, i must say my students were i was lucky i had wonderful students and i still have so i really enjoy this and they are very lucky to have you and with your years of experience now you are you know uh, creating a path for the young aspirants at frank film you have such a immense and rich experience in this industry thank you thank you thank you so uh, according to you may i ask your opinion Uh, as per yes. you, what matters the most in this job or in this industry? You know, what type of uh, behavior or attitude is required? Uh, I will say it is. Uh, we need to be honest. Uh, at the end of the day, the travel industry is the service industry. Uh, we are there if our passengers are there. Uh, so personally, I feel. Uh, you know, if you ask me, what is required? Uh, you be honest to yourself. What a knowledge you have acquired. Uh, you need to help them out help your passengers at the end of the day because the passengers are coming uh, uh prachi i feel currently there are so many options available you know with internet it is so easy like earlier i remember when i was when learning uh, i was in a learning phase if i have to book a holiday i used to i had to go to a travel agent either calling a travel agent or visiting the office but now things have changed i can just book a flight ticket or a entire 10 15 days europe tour and just uh, span up for a few minutes on yes. the internet it has become so easy actually multiple so uh, now you can go directly over there and book the tickets and plan a itinerary over there uh, absolutely right so uh, i feel uh, whenever you're getting the inquiries uh, we need to ensure that those passengers are traveling with you and that will happen only when you give uh, the services uh, so the services is not like you are just meeting the services because if you just uh, satisfy their current query like meet their expectations you may get that customer again you may not uh, 
so i feel it is like you have to do exceptional uh, services you know you need to perform over their expectation so that you are ensuring that person is coming again and he is going to travel with you that's the most part you know get a repeat customer is really a best thing what you can have for entry yeah i think customer satisfaction is very important then only the absolutely. customer will keep on repeating absolutely right correct so uh, lalit as far as i know you know uh, I think you guys get incentives on booking. Uh, what about uh, you? Uh, yes, uh, we do. Uh, but then it, uh, I will look at it. It's uh, see uh, what happens. The travel industry is not as glamorous as maybe the hotels or the airlines. Uh, but then uh, the travel agents are one who are providing the services, who are ensuring right. uh, the services are done. Uh, you know, given to the customers. Uh, from incentive point of view, yes. Uh, Uh, we get a chance when you're working in a travel agency. You get a chance to join, um, go on the fam trips. Uh, basically, the fam trip is like a familiarization trip. Uh, either the state tourism boards or the other country tourism boards. They organize these tours, and they take the travel agents to visit those places so that you can, um, you know, you can convince your customers to visit uh, those uh, tourist attractions later. So you get a chance to go on a fam trip. So from incentive point of view, fam trips one. uh secondly many there are many big travel agencies uh, you know who performed exceptionally well they uh, you know send their employees on a tour so that is again a incentive over and about uh, over and about the regular salaries that is again a incentive what you get in uh, travel industry right i think uh, you know once you have visited our place uh, you can you know tell better about it to your customers and you can plan up better itinerary for them as well it becomes absolutely right Okay. Okay. So fam trips. Okay, it's a, one of the incentives. It's good. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, nice. So, um, if I talk about this industry, okay. So, uh, what are the challenges uh, do you guys face? Like, uh, do you face angry customer or uh, how it is? Uh, yes, it it happens. Uh... quite often um, like sometimes uh, due to maybe a human error or due to not always your mistake ultimately it's the team so maybe someone else's mistake or sometimes there are uh, misunderstandings we get uh, sometimes angry customers uh, but uh, the best part is uh, you need to give him a solution now a person is coming to you um, you know if you provide him a solution and maybe i will add uh, apart from angry customers sometimes you get very tough customers you know tough to convince them they are not angry at you uh-huh. but then because they are well informed they are well aware so you know then your skills are tested that how you convince that customer that whatever services you have given him are the best first these days and they already have a plan in mind then if right. they coming to you they are already very rigid about their requirements so i think that becomes a very difficult situation to handle absolutely right because what uh, like if you're working in a travel agency uh, and uh, suppose you are at the counter and if someone is uh, walking in at your counter to make the booking uh, uh, say 90% of the people have already checked those information on the internet Right. so we know that uh, like how they compare when uh, you know when you when like we also when we go to purchase something we always say that online is this is showing this so yeah. it happens in the travel industry also then everything yes but then here the challenge is like uh, how you can convince is you can tell the, uh, you know if something happens we are here we are the face of the industry you can always come back to us like for online now uh, where exactly we will go and right. what happens in the travel industry if we are making the booking uh, normally you pay up front the entire uh, tour cost so if something happens abroad like suppose you are going out of india and something happens then online it difficult you know there is no face right. so uh, offline is important uh, but then that is the reason now online also they are coming up with the 24 hour uh, 24 by 7 call centers to help but uh, yes we do have uh, angry customers uh, sometimes yes i can say that i think that uh, such situation should be handled with great care yes absolutely so uh, uh, basically uh, yes yeah, sorry oh, i'm so sorry please go ahead uh, yes no i was just uh, elaborating further on the on the angry customer phase uh, like uh, we uh, when we are teaching in uh, in our course also we tell our students 
uh, it is important that uh, first of all you have to be a very good listener like when someone comes to you and comes with the problems yeah. you need to listen to that person what exactly are the problems and uh, you know the best uh, thing is uh, you need to empathize there is very thin line between a sympathy and empathy right. you need to think what exactly he is going through you need to think uh, what are his problems and uh, we need to provide the solutions then 99% of the time uh, you know that the customer uh, goes back happy when you when uh, we do that okay so uh, if i have to ask you any one uh, mantra or advice for our students who are looking forward to you know work in this industry or make their future in this industry what advice you will give uh basically i will i will uh, say prachi that we need to keep uh, basics we need to do the hard work sometimes i remember working 14 hours 15 hours also because when you're working in a travel agency the best uh, season the high season as we say is uh, in the month of may when there are summer vacations and uh, during the diwali and christmas vacations so when everyone is going on a holiday we are the ones who, you know the travel agents are the ones who are working extra so uh, when you're working in an industry it's uh, the customer who comes first because if, if the customer is there then at the end of the day i am going to get my salary right. if i don't have a customer then it is it is difficult so keep it basics uh, what are you doing you know try to give your best uh do uh, 100% uh, see we cannot uh, convince everyone or we cannot fulfill everyone now which is but then we need to always try to you know do our best that's the basic thing what i have to tell you right i think this is applicable in uh, every industry or you can say in basic in our daily life as well to stick to the basics for absolutely so um, actually um, here i have a small game for you Okay. okay so which is known as this or that in okay. this i'll ask you a question and i'll give you two options you just have to select any one option okay let me let me try <laughs> so can we start yes yes prachi we can we can okay so what will you prefer uh, texting or phone calls uh i will say phone calls uh because currently it is very easy to just pick up a phone and send someone a whatsapp message and uh, when we talk to someone we actually can interact you know we are missing the you know talking part with people now so i would i would go with the phone calls actually i think i will also go with the phone calls <laughs> okay so uh, but if i talk about this industry what uh, what is the major uh, Thank uh, you, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Prachi. Uh, can you hear me now? Uh, yes, I can. I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. So, if I talk about this industry, travel industry, so right. as per the industry, what would you choose? Texting or phone calls? Uh, if I have to talk about the travel industry, it is uh, maybe a phone call because we do not text much. but then i need to uh, you know maybe like uh, i need to add a point here that uh, after the phone call it is important we send the email because we need to have a return uh, communication that is very important uh, i had i had seen uh, situations you know when now uh, people are saying that no i have not spoken or i have not said something like that so it is the best thing is you need to have a email communication it is very important when you are dealing with your customers you need to have a email so uh, even if uh, a person calls we need to send a email from our end that is very important okay okay so uh, here's my next question to you would you prefer yes. traveling alone or travel with friends uh, it is travel with friends always always because it is so rare now we are uh, we say we are very busy and we don't have time for friends so uh, you know whenever you get a chance uh, you go on a holiday with friends you know you need that uh, that energy back uh, when you take a holiday with friends you get a lot of energy so that you can come and you know join the routine so it's always with friends it's very refreshing as well you know traveling is very Absolutely. refreshing and with friends the traveling is even better yeah we can say it is like a icing on a cake or maybe yeah true yes. <laughs> okay i think my next question is a bit uh, tough one for you Okay, so okay. what will you choose? 
between fame or money um yeah it is it is a tough one uh maybe i will say i will uh, you know dodge the bouncer in a way that i will say maybe a fame uh because uh, maybe once you go get little famous the money might follow so maybe the fame okay so okay so you can turn fame into money but i think that's not uh, true in every case uh yeah it is but uh, uh like uh, i don't have a choice so it's either this or that so then maybe i will choose fame <laughs> okay so uh, are you a talking person or are you a talkative person or you are a listener or a good listener uh i i'm i'm sorry i i did not get your question okay so i would you prefer talking or listening uh no i am i think i am a good listener so i'll prefer uh, listening rather than talking because as it is in lecture we talk continuously so you know sometimes given a choice <laughs> we'll take a back seat and listen so, you're an active listener i can say yes Okay, so uh, what will you prefer? Would you prefer booking a pre-made travel tour, or would you prefer okay. building your own itinerary from scratch? Uh, I will go with the second one, building a uh, own itinerary from the scratch, uh, because it's more fun. You know, I I really enjoy uh, building a itinerary. So rather than booking, because the knowledge of what we have got for so many years, so I'll go with the second. building that yeah, i think you have worked in this industry for you know in and out of the place who can be the better person than you to you know build create an itinerary <laughs> uh, yeah i will i will prefer building itinerary so uh, you know what will you prefer if i have to ask you like uh, would you be a logical person or what type of person are you you are a logical person or a creative person uh i am more sort of a creative person not logical more sort of creative okay i think the more creative you are it's good it's actually good <laughs> absolutely absolutely like right, that so uh, would you prefer being invisible or being able to read people's mind uh again i will go with the second one being able to read uh, people's mind okay that's cool Okay, so uh, would you want to be a lucky one or a talented one? A talented one, talented one. Because when you are talented, uh, I always feel uh, you know when you have that talent with you, you will get the opportunities. I always feel that. I'm a firm believer of that. So a talented one, obviously. No doubt, we can see that you are actually a very talented person. Thank you. Thank you, Prachi. So uh let it with this we are almost at the end of the show and here is my okay. final question to you so okay. if you have to summarize your you know 15 years of experience so how will you say like uh, can you summarize it for us how was the journey how was the wonderful life of lalit uh uh prachit was uh... if i have to look back uh, now it is more of a satisfaction like whatever i've achieved uh, you know over the years over a, roughly around 15 years or i will say i'm more satisfied that whatever i've achieved uh, because uh, maybe i can say i was the first one to come into this field uh, none of my family or uh, all my friends also you know from the travel industry and uh, the credit i will give it to i've got uh, good opportunities at the right time the good uh, job opportunities and the best part is at the end of the day it's the team effort so i got a fantastic team whatever jobs i've done i had a very good team so uh, at this point of time yes i'm really satisfied what i'm doing and i'm looking forward for further surprises as they say uh, you know the life is full of surprises so let's see what is in store further sure how amazing i must say your journey was so insightful and uh, we really got to know a lot about travel industry well thank you so much lalit for coming on the show yes thank you thank you uh before we uh, close uh, actually i just want a 
I've read uh, somewhere, so I just want to share uh, something with uh, our viewers. Uh, it's it's like a oh. message what I have I have read. Uh, it's a it's a Hindi quote. Uh, so I just want to say uh, it says, "Sapne bade dekho, tu zindagi mein mushkilen bhi lag aati hain, lekin wo manzar bhi khubsurat hogi jab kamyabi shor machaye." So I just want to say that. Great. amazing <laughs> well thank you so much lalit and thank you everyone for watching we hope you have enjoyed today's episode stay tuned for more such fun episodes goodbye everyone goodbye lalit stay safe stay healthy bye bye take thank care. you take care bye thank you thank you